Seek not the good in external things. Seek it in yourselves. Epictetus. In our life journey, we often view happiness as a prize that we can win. Almost like a trophy that we can earn by accumulating things like wealth, fame, and social status. It's common for us to believe that these things guarantee our happiness. However, in Stoicism, the ancient philosophy born in Greece over 2,000 years ago, presented to us a somewhat contrary view. The Stoic philosophers argued that true, lasting happiness doesn't stem from external circumstances or possessions, but rather from an internal state of tranquility and acceptance. The Stoics saw happiness in the virtues that we embody, in the peaceful moments we often overlook, and in our capacity to remain calm and steady through life's inevitable ups and downs. In this video, we'll be exploring five of the key Stoic teachings that could help us lead a happier and more fulfilling life. Number 1. Control Your Thoughts Marcus Aurelius, the Roman Emperor, advised, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, guard accordingly, and take care that you entertain no notions unsuitable to virtue and reasonable nature. Our thoughts influence our emotions, actions, and ultimately our lives. The Stoics believed that by consciously directing our thoughts, we could navigate through life's storms with a serene and resilient spirit. They argued that our perception of events, rather than the events themselves, determined our emotional responses. One way to influence our lives through our thoughts is by keeping our attention focused on what we want to achieve or aspire to be. As Marcus Aurelius mentioned, your mind will take the shape of what you frequently hold in thought, for the human spirit is colored by such impressions. In other words, by frequently focusing our thoughts on our goals or the virtues that we want to embody, our mind and spirit begin to take on those qualities, influencing our behavior and bringing us closer to our desired outcomes. That also aligns with the perspective of the Stoic philosopher Epictetus. Men are not disturbed by things, but by the view which they take of them. This quote encapsulates the essence of thought control. It implies that our interpretation of reality, not the reality itself, triggers our emotions. Cultivating control over your thoughts requires conscious effort and practice. It involves observing your thoughts without judgment, identifying negative thought patterns, and consciously choosing positive, empowering thoughts. By doing so, you can influence your emotional responses, become more resilient in the face of adversity, and find happiness that isn't dependent on external circumstances. Number 2. Live Virtuously Living virtuously is regarded as a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy. It is a principle that fundamentally means being a good person. It's all about embodying the best qualities of human nature, such as kindness, honesty, courage, and wisdom in our everyday actions. As the Stoic philosopher Epictetus simply put, what you would avoid suffering yourself, seek not to impose on others. But what does it truly mean to live virtuously? It means ensuring our actions consistently reflect our deeply held core values. It's about having the strength and integrity to always do what's right, even when no one is watching. It's about treating every person we encounter with respect and kindness, regardless of who they are or what they can offer us. Marcus Aurelius wrote in this regard, Just that you do the right thing. The rest doesn't matter. This quote underscores the intrinsic importance of virtuous action for its own sake and not for any potential external rewards. In relation to happiness, this perspective suggests that true happiness or fulfillment comes from knowing you've done the right thing and acting in accordance with your principles and values, which in turn will lead to being at peace with your choices. By choosing to live virtuously, we're building a strong character and paving our way to not only our own happiness, but also a better world. Number 3. Focus on what is within your control. There is only one way to happiness, and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. Epictetus. Stoicism places a significant emphasis on understanding and accepting the dichotomy of control. This principle presents a simple yet profound truth. There are things within our control, and there are things outside of it. The things within our control are our own actions, responses, and attitudes. We choose how to think, how to react, and what values to hold. On the other hand, many aspects of our life are not within our control, like the global economy, the political climate, or the behavior of people around us. But we can control our responses to them. Instead of allowing external situations to dictate our state of mind, we can then choose to remain calm 
composed and focused on our own actions and attitudes. Acknowledging this truth is not a submission to fate, however, but an empowering realization that liberates us from unnecessary stress and anxiety. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman Emperor, who, despite his unparalleled power, wrote, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. Understanding and accepting this concept could resemble a shift in our perspective towards life and reality. Moving from a world where we are victims of circumstances to a world where we hold the reins of our inner peace. It's a journey, a process of gradually relinquishing the illusion of control over the external and embracing the genuine control we have over ourselves and our happiness. Number 4. Journaling Marcus Aurelius left behind what can be seen as one of the most famous journals in history, his meditations. His writings were never meant for others to read, as they were his personal reflections and reminders, illustrating how he used journaling as a tool for self-improvement and mindfulness. Through the act of journaling, Aurelius was not just preserving his thoughts, but also engaging in a deep introspective dialogue with himself. Journaling helps us keep track of our progress towards our goals. It's where we can document and analyze our actions and set a course for improvement. It's a really practical way to hold ourselves accountable and to ensure that we're living in alignment with our values. Journaling could be a powerful tool for personal growth and self-awareness, leading us towards a happier and more conscious life. In the words of Seneca, we should every night call ourselves to an account. What infirmity have I mastered today? What passions opposed? What temptation resisted? What virtue acquired? Number 5. Embrace Life's Brevity The Stoics value deeply the fleeting nature of life, an understanding that can dramatically increase our happiness. They recognize that our time on this earth is limited and they embrace this reality rather than avoiding it. As Marcus Aurelius wrote in his meditations, you could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do and say and think. The knowledge that life is brief can help us live more fully, savoring each moment and recognizing the significance of the present. This, however, isn't about adopting a gloomy outlook, but rather fostering a deep sense of gratitude for the time that we have. It's about truly cherishing our experiences, our relationships, and even the simple pleasures that we often take for granted. Marcus Aurelius often reminded himself that life is short in his meditations. Think of yourself as dead. You have lived your life. Now take what's left and live it properly. The Stoics practiced an exercise called memento mori, meaning, remember, you must die. It's not meant to be morbid. Rather, it serves as a reminder to appreciate each day and to live with purpose and gratitude. This principle isn't about living in constant dread of loss. Rather, it's about thoroughly appreciating what we have right now and not taking our time or loved ones for granted. By embracing this perspective, we can develop a heightened sense of contentment and happiness in our everyday life, filled with gratitude for each moment that we experience and the abundance that already exists in our lives.